Hi scientists, are we ready to do another experiment with wood? Today we're going to talk about two words, float, sink, and we're going to use this little tub of water. At home, if you're doing this experiment, you can use a clear bowl and put fill it with water, and you're going to do a little bit of experimenting on things that float and things that sink. I have some wood. I have more samples. This one is the pine. Let's start with the pine. What's it doing? It's floating. How about the cedar? It's floating too. How about the plywood? It's floating too. What about this particle board? It's floating too. All right, let's see the basswood. It's floating too. All five of our samples of wood float. Do you think that you can now say that wood floats? I think we can make that assumption and we're going to write wood, W-O-O-D, under the column in our notebook that says float. Now we're going to do try with a couple of other things. Okay, I have a couple of other objects. I have a rubber ball, a rubber band, and a paper clip. What do you think? Do you think the rubber ball is going to float or sink? What do you predict? Let's try. Oh, it's floating. The rubber ball is floating. So I'm going to write that here. I'm going to write ball and I'll say rubber. It was a rubber ball and it was floating. What do you think the rubber band is going to do? If the rubber ball floated, do you think the rubber band is going to float? Let's look. It is, it's floating. I'll write that one down too. Rubber band. Do you think all rubber would float? I wonder. If you have more rubber at home, you can try. How about the paper clip? Do you think it's going to float or sink? That went right down to the bottom. We're going to put that on the sink side. The paper clip sank right to the bottom. Now, I would love for you to take some objects that you have at home and try to see, try to predict whether they will float or sink and then write it in your science notebook. Try to do five or six different things from around your house. Make sure it's okay first before you use it. Get permission from a grown-up and try five or six different things to see if they float or sink. I hope you have fun with this experiment. Have a great day.